This place is so cool. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going on a very special adventure to check out a new development right in the heart of Shanghai. But first things first, I need to actually find it. I think it's down here, let's go and take a look. So quite a while ago, I saw a uh, new development was being built in Shanghai and it's basically like a mountain of trees. It's a mixed development and it looks absolutely beautiful. It's just been completed, so I'm gonna go and check it out and take a look inside. But to be honest, there's no signpost for it absolutely anywhere, so finding it is proving to be a little bit of a mission. Also, you can probably notice, it looks like winter has returned to Shanghai. Last week, it was beautiful. There were a couple of days that were 20 degrees, if you can believe it. It was absolutely beautiful. But now it's turned gray and cold and wet and miserable. And it's making me feel a little bit like I'm back in the UK. And that reminds me, actually, I am headed back to the UK in a little over six weeks time. So you should definitely subscribe because those videos, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to go back for the first time since October 2021. So it's been quite a while. See if anything's changed in London and in the UK and probably get some reverse culture shock. See how things are doing that side of the world probably visit one or two European countries as well, maybe France, hop over to Paris for a little bit and, um, and see the state of things in Paris right now. I assume quite a lot has changed over there. It's been such a long time since I've been back. So it's hard to tell exactly where this place is. However, I know that it is on the Suzhou Creek. So. I'm at the water now. Realistically, to find it, all I need to do is keep walking down the side of the river and it will pop up in the distance at some point. I think I'm getting closer. So walking to the end of this, this little walkway, I'm not really sure what this is, but it looks pretty cool. Maybe it's an art installation, but it just seems to be like 20 or 30 road signs all mingled onto each other. One thing I love about Shanghai and China in general is that you are never more than 100 meters away from a public toilet when you're out and about. It's very, very, very useful. We've just had our first sighting of today's destination. It seems to be pretty tucked away. And I realized that this whole area is the M50 art area. So there's loads and loads of little art galleries and those little arty shops and design shops dotted about here. So it's in a pretty cool area. But the only problem seems to be, I have absolutely no idea of how to get there. I'm hoping one of these little alleyways will open up onto the main street. Keep going down dead ends. It is a really cool place to explore though. So this in the background is the place that we will be exploring in just a minute. 
It looks pretty cool from here. So that man just invited me in to have a look at his studio and he makes all those oil paintings himself. They're beautiful. Okay, that's the little M50 side quest out of the way, exploring that art center. Really cool, but now let's try and find the main place. That's just another reason why Shanghai is the best city in the world for me though, because I mean, so many different areas and districts and it's so big. So many things to do, places to see, lots of hidden gems like that, like the place that we're about to visit. It does seem, though, walking around the back of this place, that it is still very much under development. I mean, the builders are still here, there's still building work being done. So that's probably why it's a bit quiet here. It's not fully open just yet. Let's go and check it out anyway, though. The weather today really is terrible. I probably should have come to explore this place on a nice, bright, sunny day. It would have made it look 10 times better, I assume. However, we're here now, so we're going to go and see if we can actually get on top of the, the development. I know you can go inside and have a look at the shopping mall and we'll do that in just a minute, but for now, let's see if we can go around the outside and check it out. Wow, this place looks awesome. Looks so, so good. Right, let's take a closer look. place is so cool. So it's a mixed use development so there's a lot of different things that are going on here. It seems mostly to be shopping and restaurants and coffee shops that sort of thing. However I'm sure there's a lot more to it than that. It is new, it's still being built. Um, I think 50% of it is probably completed. The shopping mall, I know for a fact the inside is going to be absolutely incredible so we'll go check that out in just a second because it is getting a little bit chilly out here. But wow, it's absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. Okay, so that's outside in the surrounding area. Now we're gonna see if we can go up it and inside and check out the, the brand new shopping mall.
so obviously as you guys can see it's absolutely beautiful in here it's completely new it's very very clean it's absolutely beautiful i'm gonna try and head to the highest level and see what we can find upstairs <laughs> So there's five levels to this place, plus a further three underground. But I'm on the fifth level and it seems you can go even higher. So I'm gonna go and check it out. Okay, and this is the top floor of the 1000 Trees development in Shanghai. As you can see, there's actually nothing on the top floor. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.